apologize for the late night video, but as you can see, the uh, kayak is on top of the uh, Suburban. And that can only mean one thing, we are about to leave to go camping. And so, um, well, we're leaving early in the morning. So I'm trying to get everything done I need to uh, tonight. And one of those things is I need new wiper blades on the Suburban. And uh, you're gonna see little, like that, that's my headlamp. Um, so I've normally kind of, I buy whatever I can get a good deal on. I normally try to stick to name brands. Um, the truck, I buy the dollar store near me has wiper blades for $1.25 and they're actually decent. They don't hold up near as well as like a Bosch, but they're $1.25 and but the problem is I think the largest size they have is a 16 inch and a 16 inch is what the truck takes if I recall correctly. Whatever size the truck takes uh, is the largest size they carry. I'm going to turn my headlamp. Um, or if I can do this. How about, how about that? Um, it's the largest size they carry. I think that's doing more harm than good. get you a little bit brighter anyway um, it's the largest size they carry and so I buy the wiper blades for the truck there and you know I replace them once twice a year I don't drive it a whole lot so um, they work great for that uh, everything else I kind of get what I can get on sale but I try to stick with some good blades and a Bosch seems to be a, a decent one you know if you need to get them at the parts store I kind of stick or Walmart Kind of stick with the Bosch ones. Uh, I think Rainex does good blades, and uh, Trico. Uh, they're harder to find. Uh, what's the other one? The yellow one. Am. Is that Amco or no? It's not Amco. Anyway, the yellow one. I've 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 used pretty much every blade, and none of them, none of them, last that long really. So, I've wanted to try some silicone wiper blades and so I was talking to a friend of mine and uh, he was like yeah I tried some of those and they didn't work very well and I went back to Bosch blades and so I asked him what brand he tried and he tried the uh, PIAA I think and so I avoided those and I went with the Mito M-E-T-O or Meto I don't know how they want to pronounce their name but um, I like the packaging. The, they weren't that expensive. Uh, they come in pairs, uh, or you can get them in pairs, and they pair them up in different sizes if you need. So, like, say one side takes an 18 and the other side takes a 20, uh, they might have a set paired up like that. Uh, Suburban takes 22 on both, and so I found a set that had two 22 blades in it. So, the packaging, they come in this nice plastic container and you push on the end here when you do you, you pull the cap off let's see push to press to open so then once you get them open then you've got your adapters here for each one you can put a little thank you card and Here's the blades, and they come with a nice protector over them. They're really packaged well. It really surprised me how well they're packaged. Um, and I don't know if they have instructions or not. Lots of adapters. They do have instructions. So, we're going to look at this for the first time. I opened them just to see what they looked like. I did not look at the... Um, instructions so we're going to go ahead and look at these and the suburban i guess we could start off by taking these off 
and y'all can kind of see. So, uh, if I remember right, I think these have a little button you push. Let's see. They're the little hook ones. It's got a hook like that. If I remember right, I think there's a, a button. actually on the inside probably washing out the video but I gotta see too so I just don't remember these oh they just push off well they do have a clip but the uh, the clip's probably long gone on these things uh, these held up pretty well. The last, kind of the last straw for them was uh, we got some ice and um, I thought I had a winter formula in here but I did not. Uh, washer fluid and so I hit the washers and uh, the windshields frosted over and the rain -X, the summer blend, um, sprayed on the windshield and just made a mess. Uh, frosted over and of course my wiper blades were across the frost and they were streaking real bad after that so they were probably dried out real bad and that was kind of the last straw for them so we need to find the adapter for the hook right there eh, I didn't measure it but I've only got two different two different size hooks so it's gonna have to be one or the other uh, so we need F2 the adapter F2 Really comprehensive list of adapters. Let's see. F2, really. F2, right here on the end. So it looks like. How do these go? They squeeze. Squeezes. So we're going to run it through. Run it through and hook it this right. yep. it's gonna come through like this and hook like that and then that's gonna lock in place and keep it from backing back off it's kind of nice because you don't have to worry with that clip that was no good on my other ones and then let's see does it say how they then attach here Looks like you attach those on first. So back that back on. That was a test fit. And let's see. Did they go on this way? Gonna go on just like that. And it looks like you just push it on to snap it in place. And it's snapped in place. So we're gonna take our little slide our protective end off. And we'll take our blade. Pretty good. So let's find another F2 adapter. Is that an F2? No. It's probably in this package. F28. That oh, looks like an F2 right here. It's going to have to be. All right. I'm going to position y'all. Closer. Maybe you can see a little better. Let's get you off. 
slides a lot better now too. I'm gonna try to turn this off. That way we are not fighting over who can see. Let's see if the clip is done on this one. Yeah, that one's still got a little bit of a clip in it, I think. Oh, there it goes. See, I think if you look, I don't know if you can see, there's a little uh, hole on the bottom side of this, and there's supposed to be a clip that kind of snaps in, and it is probably, yeah, these may be a press fit. I don't really see the clip or it's kind of disintegrated over time. All right, and so on these, you've got that bar right there. And if you look right here, you've got a little groove that that bar fits in. And I think it's only gonna go one way. And then you gotta push, push together here. And it opens up. So let's see, that bar would go there. If you go this way, will it go that way? It will not go that way. So it only goes one way, it goes this way. So that is on there and we are just gonna push it and it's snapped on. So we've got it open, your hook goes this way. So you're gonna slide the wiper blade like this through this opening over and it is hooked in and then that comes down and snaps over it and locks in place and then we'll slide the protective covering off and we are done so I will uh, let y'all know how these hold up um, the reviews are pretty good on them, so they, I don't remember how much they cost. I bought them, been putting off this because it was never a good time to make a video, um, and it's not a good time to make a video now either. I just needed to get the blades on right now, so <laughs> it is what it is. Um, they weren't that expensive, um not any more than a normal set of wiper blades uh, you know probably you know more expensive than cheapies but probably less expensive than whatever the high dollar ones are at your local auto parts store so uh, i'll let you know how they hold up and we'll do an update video i don't know maybe six months from now or something like that and uh, i'll let you know how they compare to just standard wiper blades. If they hold up well, I'll order a set for my wife's car too. So I guess the Suburban's kind of the guinea pig. So thanks for watching. Leave a comment down below, hit the like button, and subscribe for more.